I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're going to be talking about, but I never said a word. But I never said a word. So, a lot of times in a relationship, we don't communicate. Okay? One of us, both of us, for various reasons, whatever it may be. But when that happens, you get disconnected from your partner and you don't really know what's going on with them anymore. And that is when the relationship kind of dies. It's kind of like this living entity that needs to be taken care of yeah. by both people. That's a great thought. Think of a relationship as a living thing. Yeah. Yeah. So Margaret wants to share a story about what we're talking about here because if you don't stay aware of stuff like this, you're gonna wind up losing your connection with people. Right. And <clears throat> this is a commercial, I believe. And I've seen it several times and I've wanted to share it because it makes me absolutely bananas. Um, <clears> that shows this rather pleasant looking elderly couple, probably retired. And he's puttering around the house and I think he's painting a picture. And he says, I have Parkinson's disease. And you know, that's under pretty good control, but I'm, I was having these hallucinations. I was seeing things and I didn't know where it was coming from. And I didn't know what was wrong with me. And I was terrified, but I didn't say anything to my wife. I didn't want to upset her. Then it shows the wife and she comes on and she says, I knew there was something terribly terrible going on with my husband. He didn't see him himself. He was preoccupied. He was depressed. And he was even a little bit short with me, and that's not like him. But I never said a word. Right? Yep. So he's alone and terrified. She's alone and terrified. They've been together for years, obviously. But each of them gets left alone and terrified. Yep. I think the ad is for a Parkinson's disease drug, is what it's for. Yep. But I thought to myself, what were they thinking when they showed that? Uh, you know, um, why would you ever put yourself or your partner in that situation? How hard would it have been for her to say, what's wrong? You don't seem to be yourself. Or him to say, you know, if he's committed to her, she had a right to know, I'm having hallucinations and I'm scared out of my mind. Yeah. You know, so it just strikes me as very sad. And why you would put it on TV, I don't know. But that's not the issue. I just, the issue is when in doubt, communicate, talk to each other. Yeah, you have to talk to each talk other. Talk to each other. And if you sense something is going on with your partner, it's better to ask or yes. say, what's going on here? Yeah. You know, you have, you know, do you have some time where we could talk about something? We were just talking about generosity. And if you're concerned about your partner, say it. You don't seem yourself. What can I do to help? Yeah. If you don't stay on the same page with your partner, that's how you get disconnected. Yep. You know, they're going through things you don't even know about. You're going through things that they don't know about. And the next thing you know, that magical connection that you once had is kind of gone and you're living separate lives. And why would you want to have a partner you don't communicate with? You know, people get together wanting to be there for each other. Yeah. Uh, but people have terrible, terrible fears of sharing something that might upset their partner. They might be upset and that might be perfectly legitimate, but communicate. Yeah. Like we've said before, relationships are supposed to double the joy. And divide the grief. That's right. And I'm so glad you remembered one of my <laughs> adages from my favorite old Greeks. Double the joy and divide the grief. They didn't divide the grief. Yeah. And, you know... <laughs> That's what your partner is supposed to be there for. 
is in those times where things are difficult yes. and if you're having a health issue or... And, and they're both going through this alone. I wanted to call and offer to intervene if I could be helpful. <laughs> Talk to each other, please. Yeah, yeah. So remember that. Um, I know many of you are in situations right now where you're not in contact with your ex and we're not telling you to break contact to say, hey, what was going on with you? We're saying you got to be aware of this when you are in when a... you are together. Yeah. together and you are in a relationship and you're you're making sure that you're vocal about things like this when you are in a relationship or you know if things start to turn around with them or you start to date other people it's just important to say something when you see something right right so i saw something and i said something thank you for letting me talk about it yeah all right all right um hopefully this has been helpful for you, and hopefully this is something that you can think about um, for yourself. Mm -hmm. and your, You can even use this with your friends and your family. Right. You know, that they'll, they'll appreciate if you show them that you care enough about what's going on, that you're attentive enough to see that something's going on with them. Sure. Um, if you like this video, put a like on there. And, of course, if you want to get our help personally, just go to my website at AskCraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Margaret, of course, is available for Skype coaching. If you think I can be helpful, please sign up. Just click on Margaret on the top of the website to do that. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon.